Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so I've got a range of leftover colours from previous pours. So I've got a red, a pink, a gold, a green turquoise, a phalo blue and a burgundy. And I'm going to use my marble, but I want to create a different kind of design on top. So I'm going to layer the puddles a bit differently and use the marble a bit differently this time too. So I'm going to crack on. I'm going to layer the puddles in a line, one colour at a time, and then I'm going to reverse that line and layer the colours in an alternative way. I try really hard not to waste any of my paints. So when I've almost come to the end of a colour, I do set those to one side because you'll find that when you're experimenting and playing around with colour palettes, there are different colours that you might not automatically think go with each other. But when you do put them together, they can create such a unique look that you won't regret trying and experimenting with colours that you don't normally associate with each other. Okay, so that's the first line of puddles. So I'm now going to reverse those colours and layer the line of puddles completely differently. When I do this, the middle colour, the gold, will obviously be in the same place. But that's totally okay because that's really where I want my focus on, on the middle of the painting. This is one thing that I really love about abstract art and fluid art. You can really have some fun with the colours that you're using. And when they infuse with each other, when they run into each other, and when they combine, they create such interesting colours and patterns and designs. So it's time for the marble. And I think what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to place the marble in the middle of the first puddle and I'm literally going to rotate my canvas to allow the marble to travel down one of the sides. And then when I get to the end puddle, I'm literally just going to tilt it towards me so the marble travels towards me into the next line and that first puddle. And I'm going to go all the way along. And as you can see, as the puddle and the marbles infuse, they're creating heart shapes. I'm going to use my marble again a little bit later on in this creation, but for now, that's the kind of pattern that I wanted to create. I'm now going to swipe with my palette knife all the way along from one end to the other. Now, we probably know by now, the mixture that I use to swipe is Australian Floetrol mixed with titanium white, one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol. And when I place my palette knife on the surface of the paint, I don't press down too hard, I just allow the palette knife to glide on top of that paint. I'm not really ap applying much pressure. So when you see this view from above, you can see that there's already some really interesting patterns occurring. There's some lacing and there's some lines. But what I want to really be aware of is that pattern in the middle, there isn't enough paint really for me to stretch it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna puddle my paints around the edge, just randomly. Now, I'm puddling the rest of the paint around the edge, but bearing in mind that I want that paint to help the flow of the design. I don't want the design in the middle to kind of go on top of itself when I'm stretching it out. 
So by adding some paint around the edges will help the flow of the design from the middle be pushed across to each side and down the edges. So the paint around the edge isn't really going to feature on the main design itself. It's more going to help with the traveling of the design in the middle, if that makes sense. But what I am going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting than just the puddles. I'm going to take my marble again and I'm going to place my marble on top of those puddles. And I'm just going to go round the outer edge and create a different design. Because what I'm mindful of is when I'm stretching the canvas out, some of those puddles will remain on the surface of the canvas. Not necessarily in the middle, which is where the focal point is going to be, but it's still going to create some of the design. So I will take my marble in a second and layer those on the puddles. Here we go. So first of all, I'm literally just tilting the canvas in a circular motion to allow that marble to travel in the middle of each of those puddles, creating like a heart shape. You'll see that the colors infuse with each other and that marble really helps those hearts. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna then take my marble and I'm just tilting my canvas to allow the marble to travel in the middle of the canvas and on the outer edges to help with those swirls. And in turn, what that's doing is that marble is creating some really interesting lines. So when I stretch out the design, it will form a really nice pattern on top. So without further ado, let's stretch some of this out. And you'll see almost immediately that the puddles that I've placed on the outer edge of the canvas is really helping with the flow of the paint. And it's really helping maintain the design that you see in the middle. And it's the middle part that I really want to be the focal point. I really want that balance of block colour, lacing and lines that have been created by the swipe and the marble. And don't be afraid sometimes of just placing your canvas back on the table and taking a look at the composition and the perspective and really having a look at the kind of design that you're creating along the way. You're able to stop at any time and really reflect on that design that you're creating. I pick the canvas up several times and turn it and tilt it because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use the design that I've already created on the surface of the canvas to create an overall design that I'm really happy with whilst thinking about the overall result that I'm trying to achieve which is the block of colour, the lacing and the lines. As I stop and I really look at the design, it is a wow moment for me. And I absolutely love the colours that I've chosen to work together. And it's just a little bit different to what I've done before. The vibrancy of those colours, those lines that really kind of I don't know, it almost just shows a different perspective to how the design can be. There are some really great details in there, some really close lines that are almost infused together with larger block areas of colour. And that almost gives and shows the, the movement that this piece has. I'll leave you with some close-ups of the version that you can see here. The lines, the lacing and the block colour. And if you try this yourself, then let me know how you get on. And what colours have you used? I'd really love to hear what colour palettes you're experimenting with too. And if you don't mind sharing with me, what colours did you not think really worked well together? But when you tried them, they really did. I'd love to hear that. So thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for tuning in today and watching my video. And I really hope that you take some colours that you don't normally think will work together 
and just experiment and have a little bit of fun in creating a piece that you're happy with. And who knows, you might really kind of come across a new colour palette that you never thought worked before, but works really well and it's going to be your go-to colour palette for this year. Thanks again everyone and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.